Just a quick update, kind of look at the plants a little bit. Walk through here. One of the things I want to show over here is my spaghetti squash. It's doing really well. You see it right here. Another one to the side, and there's another one down beneath there. About the same size as this one. We've only got three right now they are actually uh, producing, and that's fine. Happy with that. Daughter tells me that's about $18 worth of squash once it matures. Uh, if you look out here, our garlic, which we've been cutting greens off of constantly to put in salad, doing really well. Uh, some of these other lettuces in here, and I forget exactly what this particular lettuce is called, but it's doing fantastic. Radishes, although they're not making, uh, actually that one's not doing so bad. You can see down in there. In a real immature system, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's growing kind of a weird shape, but I think that's due to being in lava rock. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm happy to have it. Look at this one over here. See, it's, it's a little bit scrawny, but it is growing. So, it does work. Uh, that's probably in the best media for growing radishes, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, some cilantro I've got here. Right in this area, is starting to come on pretty good. Doing a lot better. And then you see the other lettuces and, and stuff. Uh, the romaine's doing really well. It's, it's up about 12 to 14 inches tall now. Our Rodina lettuce over there is doing really well. We've got a nice stand of that. Uh, let's see. Go around here and look. Got some uh, cucumbers doing pretty well. You be able to see that one right there. I'll just hold my finger up there so you can see the size. It's not as big as my finger yet, but it's getting there. Another one uh, right there. And there's several more I saw when I was out earlier. One on the other side. Right there. They're doing really well. Well enough as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't expect to have it as good as it will be because we are still in a very immature system. You've got to keep that in mind. This, this system is only a few months old, so we shouldn't have that explosive growth that we're really looking for eventually. Now the tomato plants, I've been picking all the blossoms off of, and uh, they're starting to bulk up and get thicker stems, getting a little less leggy, but uh, they're not quite where they should be yet. Hopefully they'll come along pretty quick. Going down through here. Everything else, the kale and, and all that stuff. Still doing about the same as it was. It's a little bigger, obviously, but it's not uh, any fantastic growth yet. Our Swiss chard's doing really well. Uh, the basil, since I quit eating on it, it's doing well. You notice our, our chives are ready to be uh, harvested again. This will be the third time we've harvested them, and it's it's about two weeks between harvest now, uh, just on, on this one set. It's the only set we have in the bed, uh, but it's doing well. And if you'll remember, at one point I had that... Uh, metal pan set in here and we did some seedlings out of that. Everything you see right here, all these plants came out of that. Every one of them. There's a tomato plant here and there. Uh, all the lettuces. Uh, whatever this was, I forget now. Uh, and that's, that's one of my things where I, I'm making some changes uh, uh, to, to kind of mark these things better so I know what they were. Other than that, all I can do is wait till they get a little more mature. Look at the leaf, and if it uh, looks similar to something else, I taste it, and that tells me exactly what it is, because almost every plant you plant will taste almost like the fruit it bears, believe it or not. Now, I did make notes of, of what I did here in this new seeding media bed, uh, this blue one. Um, right out in this area, right here, and let me back up a little. This area right here is mostly an Italian mix of lettuce that I accidentally spilled there, and it was due to a rip in the bag. Uh, of course, we got the Skywalker uh, cauliflower here, which again is a hybrid, and we won't be using it again. I just I had it uh, as a seedling, so I planted it in here to see how it would do. Uh, let me look at my list. Cilantro right here. Planted some cilantro. I've got one chive in here that that was pulled loose from that main set, and I'm just kind of to nurse it, trying to nurse it along, see if it'll keep coming along, come back for us. Uh, a couple of lettuces there that that came from that uh, metal pan also. Uh, let's see, should be some Rodina lettuce coming up back in here, which there's probably a couple right there, uh, but we're not getting a real good stand of those yet. And then just to the side of that, all this area is spinach, so we've got a good stand of spinach coming up finally. And I have been fighting that spinach, trying to get something to come up for a long time with no luck. Then as we move on around into this corner which I don't see anything here yet, uh, there should be basil there. Uh, that's what was planted. We'll give it a few more days. If it doesn't come up, we'll, we'll reseed that area and see what it does. 
then right in here we've got an Italian kale and what as I understand it this Italian kale does not have those sharp spines and it's also not as bitter as uh, curly kale so we're really really interested in seeing how that turns out which in, in one of my other grow beds on the other side I've also got some of the same kale uh, so we'll see how that turns out before too long it's actually uh, this kale wraps right around in, into this area so there's quite a bit of it coming up we're gonna have to, to thin it out move it around so it's got plenty of room to grow uh, let's see right in this area which I see no growth yet I am very shocked by it I'll take it back there's one right there very hard to see a little bit of green that's a radish coming out I would expect in the next day or so we'll start seeing more there's a radish seed right there that didn't get buried I don't know if you can see it in the video or not right off the end of my finger kind of brown it's an actual radish seed so I'm gonna push it down in there and hopefully it'll come on and, and sprout for us uh, and that's about it uh, looking back from this side you can see all the plants going this poor corn here I just wanted corn in the system not that it's going to produce anything you can tell the coloration's off on it. We've got iron that's been added to our, our system. Uh, the new growth is not greening up, so it's, it's probably just a lack of nutrients overall. And that's just one of those things in a new system that you have to deal with. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, come see us at, uh, on Facebook at True Aquaponics. And uh, make sure you subscribe to us here and, and join our group. And uh, comment on anything you like. If you've got a question, post it. Uh, if you just want to add something to what we're doing that, that uh, you think may be helpful, please do.